Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to review another tool from the XRM Toolbox that I find really useful, especially if you're a CRM administrator. Because when you're a CRM administrator, you know one thing that happens a lot is that people call you and complain they can't do something in Dynamics 365. They either can see a particular record or they can see it but they cannot edit stuff on it or they are trying to share with somebody and they couldn't do it. So it's really tough when you're an administrator to be able to relate to users that are not administrators too. Because when you're an admin, you can do and see and you know, do whatever you want, pretty much. Um, so because of that, typically what happens is that you have to either go to the user's desk or ask him on a session to show you what they're seeing just so you can get an idea of what it is. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to emulate the access that a user has. So you can check really quick without having to share the screen or rely on the user to uh, essentially show you what's happening. So let's start the countdown. And let's go. So in here, what I want to do is, for example, let's say John Doe, one of my users, calls me and says, hey, I'm trying to do something with AdventureWorks, maybe, you know, uh, making a change on AdventureWorks and I can do it. But I'm able to do it with some accounts, but not with others. What's going on? So instead of asking John Doe to show me what's going on, I am actually going to use the XRM Toolbox. So I'm going to go to XRM Toolbox. And in here, there's a tool called the Access Checker, as you can see right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I'm going to load the entities. So I'm going to click on Retrieve Entities in here. It's retrieving them. And once that's done, I'm going to select the account entity, which is what I'm checking for. Now, instead of checking for a specific ID, what I like to do is I always like to search for the user next. So I'm going to click on browse right here to search for the user. I'm going to click on go. And there's John Doe. So the user that called me to complain and I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to search for a specific account. Now, if in this case, we know John Doe is asking about adventure work, so I can pick that. But if they haven't really mentioned anything or if they say period, I cannot edit any accounts whatsoever. Just pick one of them, right? Just pick one randomly and click OK. Then after that, I'm going to click on retrieve rights. And I can check that effectively John Doe is right. You cannot create an account um, essentially owned by whoever owns AdventureWorks. It cannot make any changes on it or assign access to somebody, meaning it can really uh, assign this record to someone else or delete it, of course. But then maybe you can select another account. So I'm going to go back to search and maybe pick the first one, a datum corporation and retrieve. And on this one, you can see that although the lead access has been removed, um, you know, John Doe can effectively create accounts based on a datum corporation, meaning the same owner, right? Even assign that account to somebody else. So if we go back to Dynamics 365 and open a datum corporation, you will notice that this one is actually owned by John Doe, whereas AdventureWorks will be owned by another user. And that's the difference. That's how you can troubleshoot access without having to ask the user to show you what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed today's tip and we'll see you next week.